Wow, that was awesome. Okay, I guess we can hit it again. Oh. Okay, I guess we're gonna ride it right it there. Ha! Ah, get those preds, are you? Wait, right, they can't save all this health. There's big uh, the thing I saw big Yeah, it's a big door. Yeah, that's gonna come into play. Yay! Oh good, they start us right here. Like it was free health. That is beautiful. Well, thanks for surprising me with that random pitfall. Some of a warning, at least. Oh, okay, that's dark eco. Makes sense. So, like dark matter. You're just going in there. What's that about? automatically. Um, that's something I like to look into. Just in case. I didn't see that one. We get four hits during this fight. Really? <laughs> Big mosquito monster. Ego okay, so it goes off right away. platforms right here, yeah? And yet another boss that takes place on the top of the tower. <laughs> Oh, that failed. 
<laughs> the crap pal tricked me, you bitch. <laughs> now we get less room to run around, too. This, good, this looks good. You know, because it's light. <laughs> we would have died. Well, that killed him. Battle hardened. Well, that's it, huh? Well, that was kind of a letdown. I mean, you're too easy. I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. <laughs> Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Say, Hose, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. Wanna play as Kira in the next game? Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Ah! Put it on ice, big guy! Well, he certainly rushed that in hitting day! Well, I guess that is the end of Jagan Daxter! Okay. I must say, I expect a bit more of that final, of that final boss. I mean... I mean, considering that big open battlefield up there, we got that... The Severed taking that little one. I mean, there's like, there's like a big door or something important. Oh, anyway, this game was pretty good. This game was pretty good, actually. I mean, it's annoying moments where you can't skip cutscenes if you like, if you like, didn't save or something. And um, and you only get like three slash four hits throughout the whole game. Plus, this game didn't really have variety and like mechanics like you didn't learn any new moves like from other sages or whatever well 
Well, I, except for our, those little energy things that have... Oh, see the uh, voices. Except for those little energy things lying around the field, but those are just, you know, worldly power-ups or something, you know? Kevin Conroy, huh? I think you've heard of him. Haha, <laughs> Michael Golem, nice. Oh, you did it. Um, as far as Top Wars go, this is, uh, this is pretty good, you know. Not as good as other platforms like Banjo or Ratchet. But I gotta say, Daxter, I don't like, I really don't like Daxter. He's just, he's just a dick. I mean, he didn't do anything the whole game except, well, I guess he gives you hints, but other than that, he's just an annoying bitch. I mean, comparing to Kazooie and Banjo Kazooie, we all know Kazooie was a major asset to that game, to that series. And Clank, too, you actually got to play as Clank in certain areas, and. And Clank? And Clank was very helpful from Ratchet's back. I mean, you know, that little hovering mechanic, and it can glide in Tools of Destruction, which is awesome. Well, I mean, he can not glide, he can fly. It's epic. Daxter, he's just plain useless. Even Sparks in the, in the first Spyro series had some point, because, you know, he grabbed gems from afar from you and stuff. He should only help. In the Legend series, Sparks wasn't that helpful. But at least he's at least he's funny. At least he's more comic relief here than Daxter was in this game. Because every time you die, this Daxter just remark this says a little remark. He doesn't... he doesn't even care. As far as story goes, the story was alright for this game. Not... not something I'm extremely into, you know? Eco, that's... well, it's sort of a new topic. It's pretty cool. You ever hear talk... You ever hear anyone talk about Eco stuff before, you know? The original. I'd also like a radar to find the eggs, like, like in Spyro, Sparks was your radar to find gems. And then the second game, he already had that ability, and the third game, he had to get that ability. Daxter wants to be useful, he can point out, he can point out eggs for me. I mean, since he's been touched by eco power, he can be, be able to find the eco orbs or whatever. I love how they call the bad guy Gaul and not Gold, because Goldie Roger is awesome. We don't want to give this bad guy an evil name. I mean, a, I mean, a heroic name. And then make Gold Roger sound like a bad person, you know? So yeah, pronounce his name Gaul, like on Spyro, Eternal Knight, Gaul the Eight King. combat better in this game, too, really. The reason the later Jack games look a bit more epic, like the later Ratchet games do, that's because they got level-ups and more epic weapons and such. Generally make the later Ratchet games more destructive than the first. And yeah, up your arsenal. Up your arsenal is pretty intense. Uh, now I can speed things up, huh? Well, I don't. Well, like these crabs are going anywhere, so let's speed them up. Oh, what's this for now? Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! 
It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Huh? Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. Well then! Good thing we got them all! Kind of like Don Kong, we had to get all the orbs, open this super duper awesome secret door. A total secrecy. So let's get to the Golden Temple. Can I go in? <laughs> We're not allowed to go into the next game, are we? <laughs> or can we just res can we just come back to this game? See, 100, 100, 100 out of 100 cells, 112 out of 112 ginger flies. We're only missing 20, um, 20 eggs. Wow, we should. So that means there's like 10 eggs in each of those two levels. Wow. <laughs> you know, the last percent could have been defeating the, defeating the boss, but I guess not. Oh, also, the boss actually stays de stays dead, unlike Ratchet and Clank. Can we like see the? Or we could, we could like see the whole game, the whole game from here. There's the snowy, yeah. There's the snowy mountain. I think I, that always looks like the beach level. I think I recognize that thing over there. Jungle is probably somewhere. Okay. Well, you need to watch this again! You know they showed us in the cutscene. This is clearly open. At least we don't have to get all the eggs, or do we? Is this the same cutscene? So, okay. So if we open the holy door or whatever, we just get the damn credits! Wow! Way to troll me, game! That's <laughs> stupid! Can't get like a secret, insanely hard level. A golden temple. I, I can't I can't speed the credits up for some reason. Well, this game has lost a few points! Well, except for those last 20 eggs, I guess that will be it for this game. I'm gonna wait till the end of the credits so I get... Okay, okay, I, now I can speed them up. Let's see if that's the end of the credits now. So we can get that same cutscene again. Oh, uh, okay, you know what? They lose points though, because that is just trolling. I mean, why would, why would we want to watch the credits again? There's nothing to the credits. And again, some people might care about who made this game. And this what this was made in the days before YouTube. So still though. We'll never find out what's behind that door. Why, people? See you for Jack 2. Well, we remain here in this long forgotten toss room. Death. And we miss such. Later!